Okay, so let's make a start. We've got this best ice cream makers uh, and everything is going to be all about ice cream. Very simple. And then there are the questions and the question type is which paragraph contains the following information. Uh, let's quickly go through paragraph A. Please come to paragraph A. If you are an ice cream fanatic, ice cream fanatic, underline that, it doesn't get better than this. Means this machine is perfect if you are crazy to eat ice cream like Yasin. It's quick, taking as little as 20 minutes. So quick and 20 minutes and consistent in its results. Means every time it will give you same type of ice cream. While the three automated programs are very easy to use, three programs. Maybe it's program number one, two, and three, and easy to use. And it has an unusually generous two liter capacity. Unusually generous. What does it mean? It means other machines may give you half liter capacity or one liter capacity. But this machine gives you two liter capacity and dimension unusually generous. It means you can make two liter ice cream. On the other hand, we found it noisier. So noisier is one factor than many other and uh, many. And the ice cream is softer than we might have liked. Softer than we like. Like, you know, at times you have ice cream, it's very, very so extra soft. You don't like that much. Okay. So now we keep all these things in mind. And if you imagine or visualize ice cream, things are going to be easier for you. Now, let's go. Question number one. Users of this machine will need to put some physical effort, underline physical effort. Not here, but in one paragraph, they will tell us about physical effort. Like you will have to do it by hand, right? By hand is physical effort. Question number two. Users of this machine can decide how soft they want their ice cream to be. They said here very clearly that softer than we might have liked. But they did not mention that you can have the option of making your ice cream as soft as you want. So it's not question number two. Question number three. This ice cream maker can be fixed onto an existing kitchen appliance. Underline existing kitchen appliance. That can be microwave. That can be oven. That can be uh, dishwasher, refrigerator, right? Or anything like that. Question number four. It is possible to make a larger amount of ice cream now for larger amount they use the word unusually generous two liter capacity so question number four answer is a and now we will cross number four to manage our time question number five this machine has features that make it worth the high price underline features and high price question and we will read all the questions by the way one paragraph may contain one question Two questions, three questions, or no question also. Okay, yeah. Question number six. People might find it difficult to take this machine apart. Apart means to open the machine, to unassemble the machine. So people might find it difficult because, you know, once you make ice cream, you have to wash the machine also. Then you open the machine like juicer. You open the juicer and wash it. So people might find it difficult to uh, take this machine apart. Question number seven, this machine makes an enjoyable sound, enjoyable sound, but over there they said noise. Now noise is not enjoyable sound. You, you, you cannot argue I enjoy the noise. No, it's not that. Okay. Now question paragraph B, please come to that. Now we have questions in mind and we will read paragraph B considering the questions. So if you want to make some basic soft ice cream, this is a fun little gadget. Now fun they did not mention with sound. Little gadget. That gets decent results. You add a little ice and salt to the base. Then your ingredients to the stainless steel tub. Pop the lid on and give it a good shake. Give it a good shake. What does it mean? Yeah, give it a good shake for at least three minutes. So when you give it a good shake for three minutes, you need physical effort for that. Got it? Give it a good shake and physical effort. So question number one, answer is B. And we will cross number one as well. Now you need to make up your mind. This is how you improve your reading skill. If you say give, a good, give it a good shake and this is something physical effort. Because you give it a good shake physically, so it's going to be physical effort. Question number one, answer is B and you must cross number one because then you will be left with fewer options. 
Okay, provided you measure everything exactly. Paragraph B, I'm reading last sentence. And shake back and forth consistently. It is surprisingly efficient. Yasin, please come and guide. Uh, now we've got paragraph C. <clears throat> Sage Smart Scoop. This is a seriously smart machine. Our favorite feature is the built-in sensor that works out whether the consistency of your ice cream or frozen yogurt is right. They have built-in sensor and that sees the consistency of your ice cream for you from the 12 hard hardness settings. Okay. All right, listen. I mean, it's not about features. They said from the 12 hardness settings. Now, hardness means how hard your ice cream is. There are 12 settings. Out of those 12 settings, you can decide how hard your, uh, how hard your ice cream is going to be. Okay? So, for this, which question? Question number 5 is, this machine has features that make it worth the high price. They did not mention the price. They are talking about hardness of ice cream. It is question number two. Users of this machine can decide how soft they want their ice cream to be. How soft you want your ice cream to be. And for that they use the word 12 hardness settings. 12 hardness settings means, I mean ice cream is going to be hard. It's not like milk. So it's going to be hard. So little hard, more hard, harder, hardest and all that stuff. So when they use the word hard, it is related to softness here. So question number two, users of this machine can decide how soft they want their ice cream. For that, they use the word 12 options, 12 hardness settings. So when you can decide on hardness setting, it means you can decide how soft your ice cream is going to be. Hardness or softness. They are the synonyms here, unfortunately, okay? So, correct answer for question number two is paragraph C. So, please cross number two as well. Let's read on. So, it can stop mixing when it is ready, alerting you with a fun tune. Alerting you means ice cream is ready with a fun tune. Now, what is fun tune? This machine makes an enjoyable sound. Well done. Now, enjoyable is fun and sound is tune. Question number seven, right answer is C. And cross number seven also. You will not read it again. Fewer the questions, lesser the mistakes. Okay. Now, we've got paragraph, uh, same paragraph. We read on one line is left. As you'd expect from the considerable price tag, considerable price tag, there is a built-in freezer and it feels beautifully engineered. So you'd expect from the considerable price tag. What does it mean? Considerable price tag means it is expensive. There is a built-in freezer. So there is a freezer and it feels beautifully engineered. So let's see if there is any option. Question number five, this machine has features that make it worth a high price. And what are the features? Built-in freezer. That is the feature. And high price, for high price, they use the word considerable price tag. Considerable price tag means high price. So question number five, right answer is C. How many questions are left? Three and six. And how many paragraphs? Okay. All right. Let's go on. Uh, okay. Paragraph D, please. Come to paragraph D. Lakeland Digital Ice Cream Maker. You simply pop on. Uh, let's just read the questions once again so that they are clear in our mind. Question number three is fixed on an existing kitchen appliance. And question number six is difficult to take this machine apart. All right. Paragraph D. You simply pop on the lid and pour in the ingredients, then set the timer using the nice, clear digital display. Some customers reportedly struggle to disassemble, struggle to disassemble it in order to wash the ball and paddle. So, question number six, people find, might find it difficult. Some customers, 
and for take this machine apart they use the word disassembled so question number 6 right answer is d okay now we are left with existing kitchen appliance all right but we didn't have that problem we are also giving it extra points for the recipe book which has some all right please come to paragraph e judge ice cream maker we had a few criticisms perhaps not surprisingly when you consider this is one of the cheapest model in our selection notably the fact that pedal isn't as robust as the ones in other models we'd have liked more recipes no there is no mention huh let's go to paragraph f kitchen aid artisan ice cream maker if you own a kitchen aid food mixer this attachment now what is the appliance kitchen aid food mixer so it is going to be an attachment with food mixer home appliance is food mixer one of 15 that fits this machine is a good way to start ice cream making which question will go there Question number three, this ice cream maker can be fixed onto an existing kitchen appliance. And what is that kitchen appliance? Food mixer. Okay. And uh, they use the word, if you want a kitchen aid food mixer, this attachment. Attachment means it can be attached with that. So question number three, answer is F. And we have answered all the questions. And you noticed one thing, paragraph E is empty. Right? There is no option with paragraph E. Let's go on. Next, we have photography weekend course on the coast of Cornwall. Now, photography weekend. Imagine weekend course, you are going to learn about photography, like DSLR camera, and they will, your imagination will help you a lot. If you imagine a camera, weekend course, you go somewhere, they teach you how to take photos and all that. After reading this, we immediately come to questions. And the questions are true, false, not given. Uh, in true, false, not given questions, when you read the question statement, there will be a word or there will be a group of words which will help you decide whether the answer is true or false or not given. So you need to identify that first. Let's read it. Question number eight. Course is aimed at people who are already skilled photographs. Underline already skilled photographers. Now, if this course is for skilled photographers or photographers, answer is true. If skilled and unskilled can join the course, answer is false. And if they don't tell us the level, skilled photographers means it's the level. If they don't tell us the level, answer is not given so this is how we need to identify in every question what to look for and by the way the good news is questions and answers are in order so you can find one answer then you just have to read on okay first paragraph first line our three night photography weekend is designed to appeal to all levels right well done in the question they said skilled photographers and in the passage, they said all levels. Now, all levels is the opposite of skilled photographers. Hence, the answer is false. And for false, try to write full word false. Question number nine. Three meals a day are included in the course fee. Very simple. If meals are three, answer is true. If meals are four or two, answer is false. And number of meals not mentioned, answer is not given. Well done. Second paragraph, price includes personal daily tuition, discussions, welcome reception and dinner, bed and breakfast for three nights, dinner, bed and breakfast, how many meals? No, two, they are not talking about lunch, huh? you don't say karon roti le jange, no, okay, they are just talking about dinner and breakfast for three nights in a twin or double room so what should be the answer false well done and you might be thinking two false answers why don't try to go for that okay one true one false another true another not given not like this okay so answer is false why false here they mentioned three meals and there they said breakfast and dinner so breakfast and dinner they are two meals 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन दी ओनली वे टू रीच द होटल इज बाय कार नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड ओनली वे बाय कार ट्रू If you can go by car, by bus, by train, by ferry, then false. And if they don't mention, then not given. So please come to third paragraph. Uh, price does not include insurance and photographic equipment plus transport to photographic venues. Participants are required to arrange this. Car share during the weekend is a popular option. What does it mean? there may be some other options but they said car share during the weekend is a popular option now what's the question the question is the only way to reach the hotel is by car now only way by car is not mentioned they said car is a popular option but they did not say anything that there is only one option and that is car right now see there is no information on the word only because of this the word only there is no information on that answer is not given technical question they mentioned only way to reach the hotel is by car there is no information on that they said car is one option now they did not say whether car is the only option or there is any other option there is no information on that that is why it is not given question number 11 topics covered on course depend mainly on wishes of the participants now if they cover the topic according to the wish of the participant answer is true if they have their own topics which everyone have to follow everyone has to follow then it is false otherwise not given let's see course information first bullet point everyone follow please course information first bullet point our courses are relaxed but comprehensive and the content is largely dictated by those attending content is dictated by those attending like you will tell them i want to learn this i want to learn that so what's the question the question is topics covered on the course depend mainly for depend mainly what is the word largely dictated by those attending and for by those attending only the wishes of the participants right answer is true and for true false do not write yes no and for yes no do not write true false okay question number 12 participants are expected to get up early on their first morning to take photographs now let's go back second bullet point arrival by mid afternoon on the first day will allow you to check into the hotel and enjoy some cornish refreshments before heading out into the fresh air for our first shoot together at sunset dinner and a good night sleep and you will be ready to start at sunrise start at sunrise the next day now when you start at sunrise participants are expected to get up early get up early and sunrise what does it mean answer is true absolutely sunrise and get up early if you get up early then you will see the sunrise so answer is true well done ha huh? yeah to take photographs exactly first morning participants are expected to get up early for getting up early they use the word for early actually they use the word sunrise early and sunrise Question number 13 tutor will show participants examples of her work after dinner now let's see after dinner tutor will show participants examples of her work same paragraph yes, dinner and a good night sleep and you'll be ready to start at sunrise the next day right have they mentioned anything that the tutor will show you and by the way have you noticed one thing information on question number Yeah we are doing question number 13 the tutor will show participants examples of a work after dinner we have dinner and good night sleep and you will be ready to start at sunrise and all that so is there any information on that no information hence the answer is not given share your thoughts uh, in the evening you will have a chance yeah let's read the second last line third last line In the evening you will have a chance to unwind at the hotel share your thoughts on the day and spend time looking at images and sharing editing techniques that's it there is no information on tutor sharing and all that 
Okay, question number 14. Participants should be prepared for bad weather. Right? It's the second last bullet point. The following equipment is essential. Digital SLR or bridge camera with its instruction manual, batteries and charger, memory cards, comfortable walking footwear with good grip, warm outdoor clothing and waterproofs. Now, warm outdoor clothing and waterproofs. What does it mean? Participants should be prepared for bad weather. And for bad weather, they use the word waterproofs. Bad weather means there may be rain and all that. So, question number 14, correct answer is true. I'm recording this class. I will share this class recording with you. You have to repeat it all. And I told you before, you must be clear about all 40 questions. What the questions are and what the answers are.